coming up in sport, Wales football manager Gary Speed dies at the age of 42. This is the new program on Euronews where you get to ask the questions. Each show will deal with one issue, one challenge facing our continent. I'll be putting your concerns to the people in charge. So it's up to you. Send in your questions and I'll make sure you get the answers. How is it possible to take at least 30 days to travel 95 miles? Football manager Gary Speed has died at the age of 42. According to reports, the former Newcastle winger was found hanged at his home in Chester on Sunday. Speed began his playing career with Leeds in 1988 and made over 300 appearances for the club until he left to join Everton in 1996. He then went on to play for Newcastle and Bolton before eventually ending his career at Sheffield United. Speed, who won 85 international caps for Wales as a player, took over coaching the national side in 2010. Despite the country's failure to qualify for the Euro 2012, Aaron Ramsey's teammates had won their last three internationals, and many believe there were signs of real improvement under Speed's guidance. Thanks for the goal, and I think that would be very important. Former world number one Roger Federer clinched a record sixth title at ATP World Tour Finals on Sunday with a heartfelt win over France's Joe Wilfred somewhere in London. The 30-year-old extended his winning streak to 16 matches, but the result means he will retake third place in the rankings from Andy Murray next week. Having weathered an early storm to win the first set, the reigning champion was made to battle hard throughout the contest and conceded the second. Songer then pushed, but it wasn't to be as Federer eventually won 6-3, 6-7, 6-3, sealing victory with an easy forehand body to clinch his sixth title here. Australia's Mark Weather produced a stunning performance to win the season-ending Brazilian Grand Prix on Sunday. Newly crowned world champion Sebastian Vettel started from pole and quickly built a healthy lead, but a gearbox problem forced him to cut his pace and let Weather through on lap 29. The 35-year-old eventually completed the race 16.9 seconds ahead of his teammate to secure his seventh career win, giving Red Bull their third one to this season. British Jensen Button produced a solid run, but eventually had to settle for third place. Ferrari's Fernando Alonso finished fourth, just ahead of teammate Felipe Massa, with Adrian Sutton and Nico Rosberg sixth and seventh, respectively. Fettel, who had already wrapped up his second title, finished with a final total of 392 points, ahead of Button on 270 and Webber on 258. Now looking at the manufacturer's rankings, and Red Bull finished top with 650 points, 153 clear of second place McLaren. Ferrari came third with 375 points. Olympic champion Axel Lewis Lindor edged out Switzerland's Didier Kush to claim the Lake Louise Super G for the third time on Sunday. 
the last podium place in Winter Francis Adrian So, one of the fastest in practice, who finished 0.41 seconds behind Kirsch. Austria's Mardis Shield produced yet another flawless run to claim the women's alpine skiing World Cup slalom in Aspen on Sunday. Sweden's Maria Kitty they held to help her nerve to take silver, or Germany's Maria Hoffer Riesch had to settle for third place. Spain's Iker Martinez aboard Telefonica produced a superb display to clinch the opening leg of the Volvo Ocean Race in Cape Town on Sunday. The 34-year-old and Olympic gold medalist in 2004 completed the race as the sunset, edging out Camper of New Zealand to secure the win. Groupama of France completed the podium after the three other boats in the fleet were forced out early in the leg. Telefonica now lead the overall standings with 31 points, despite having finished last in front of their home crowd in Alicante on the 29th of October. Britain's Ian Williams held his nerve to clinch the Monsoon Cup in Malaysia on Sunday. The 34-year-old, who claimed his third match racing World Tour title last week, edged out fellow countryman Johnny Burston 3-1 in the final to secure the win. And this is the second consecutive year a British skipper has won both the Monsoon Cup and the World Championship after Ben Ainsley in 2010. Elsewhere, Denmark's Jesper Radic outclassed Australia's Peter Gilmore to complete the podium.